Hey everyone, this is Steve from Natobi, and I am going to be showing you today how to port your iPhone PhoneGap app to a Palm PhoneGap app. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Palm has an app promotion going on right now. Get your share of $1 million for hot apps. So pretty much get your app submitted. If they get ranked, you can win some easy money. I know how much we all love money. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me show you how to get started. Uh, so everyone go to the wiki, wiki.phonegap.com, getting started with PhoneGap Palm. This is the guide we're going to be following today. Um, get your prerequisites installed, so install VirtualBox, install WebOS SDK. Uh, it says optional install Git. I recommend installing Git just because I like working with Git, and that's what I'm going to be using here in this screencast. Um, so using a web browser, browse to PhoneGap Palm repository. So I already have it open. Uh, this is a repository. We're going to be wanting to download this onto our local machine. So open up terminal. Uh, so it's CD into where you want to go. So I wanted to put it in documents. And then you can go git clone and then paste the link right here. So this link, you want to copy that and paste it here and then press enter. And that's going to copy the repository over to your local hard drive. So I have it already downloaded. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, here it is. So PhoneGap Palm, that's what I downloaded. And you'll see there's a framework folder which contains a WW folder and this is where all your assets go. So you have your JavaScript, your HTML, your CSS, everything goes in here. I like to keep this as a master copy so we're going to copy this and move it to our working directory. Don't worry if I'm going too fast for you. Um, I have a lot of this information on my blog that you can check out. Uh, so here we go, PhoneGap Palm. Let me show you the app that we're going to be working with today. It's called Snow Report. I have it here on the iPhone. It just takes the RSS feeds of a bunch of local mountains and uh, displays the data in a nice, clean uh, format. So here we got the base step, new snow, uh, metric, imperial, check out the weather. It's pretty simple. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to convert. So what we do is we go to the iPhone folder, Snow Reports, www, and we're going to copy all of our assets. So copy five items, and we're going to move it to PhoneGap Palm Framework, www, and paste these assets now. Oh, we're going to replace all. So we're, now all of our new assets are in the Palm directory. Now before we make this, there's a few things that we need to do. Um, looking at the guide here, the getting started guide, it says um, your index HTML must include Palm's Mojo library. So we have to include this, this line right here. Um, so let's open that up. So this is my Palm. I like to open it up in your favorite text editor or development. There we go. Opened it up. Framework www open up index.html. Here it is. Now we gotta add that line. So let's just copy this here. And just paste it right here. You want it to be the first script that gets implemented. Uh, so there we go. Added that. And also I just noticed that the viewport, the height set to 460 pixels. I must have set that for the iPhone and to account for the header in the WebOS view. So here we just want to write device height. So we've only had to change two things so far. So let's, let's go ahead and run this. Let's see how it looks in the Palm emulator. That's no work at all. So here we go. To run it, first we have to CD into the Palm directory. So there it is. CD phone gap palm. And then if you look inside, there's a make file. So we just run make. All these instructions are also on the getting started. So there we go, it's running. It's installing. So it's installing onto the emulator. And we gotta launch it. So we go palm launch palm dot palm dot phone gap. I'll explain the com dot palm dot phone gap after for now. There we go, we're launching it. Here we go, it's launched. As you can see, oh, that's not what I meant to click. 
There you go. We can go through it, click on Whistler. Here's all the information. As you can see, look, the text, it's, it's not centered. And there's something weird going on right here. Everything seems to be working. It's just a few CSS issues, a few rendering issues. So I guess that's the next step is to deal with some of these rendering issues. Uh, so we have to open up style sheets, snowreport.css. Since I've already worked on this before, I know exactly what I need to change. Uh, this is all dependent on your app. Um, every, I suggest everyone just go and tweak your apps, find the best setting that you need. But here I just need to change a few divs. So this I need to change to 34 pixels. This one I have to change to 8 pixels. And there's one more I have to change down here. Here we go. Change that to 8 pixels. Save that. So we can just do another make. Now that I've already saved it, I'm going to do another palm launch com dot phone gap. No, com dot palm dot phone gap. There we go. Should be launching, and hopefully this fixes it. Oh, there we go. Click it. Oh, it looks like everything's fixed. Heights are fixed, and th that is all it took. A little bit of CSS tweaking to deal with the rendering issues. Uh, PhoneGap's ultimate goal is to have you be able to just drop it in and not do any little changes at all. But for the time being, the PhoneGap team hasn't had a chance to work on uh, rendering, but I'm sure that will come eventually. Um, let's see, I wanted to show you guys a few more things. We can also open up another file here in the PhoneGap Palm. It's called appinfo.json. And here you'll see the ID com.palm.phonegap. That's what I was running to do everything. Uh, we should change that to snow reports. We could even change the title to snow reports. Save this. Mm. And then we just go back to terminal. We we'll just do another make. There you go, it's making. This time I also do a palm install to make sure palm.palm.snow reports. There you go, it's installing onto the emulator. And we've got to do a launch, palm.launch, com.palm. Now I can type in snow reports. Hopefully I typed that right. Let's see it. Here we go relaunched and now now the ID is set to snow reports you do want to have your own ID you don't want to use the, the phone gap one um, last bit of last bit of uh, little nitpicking work I like to do is I like to go and, and copy the icon in as well too so you just take the, the snow reports icon here so this way when it shows up this is the icon that it'll show and for palm, you just need to move it into the www folder. Replace that default phone gap one. And you're good. We have officially ported it over in less than 10 minutes. We have a full working palm app from an iPhone app. So all you developers that have been stuck on working on just iPhone or Android, I just showed you how simple it is, simple it is to port over. So get porting. If you want more details on this, uh, I have a blog post on it. Here it is. Hold on. It will be up. Uh, so you can go to blogs.natobi.com backslash Steve. That should get it to you. You don't need this preview stuff over here. Um, I'm going to have the screencast up right here where it says part one, part two, part three. And I go through everything in much more detail. Some of my choices, some of my design choices. I talk about the ID in more detail, about the, the significance of it. So definitely check out my blog here. Uh, leave any comments for me. They'll be very helpful. This is my first screencast, so go easy. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.